everything that the ventilator does during mechanical ventilation has something that tells it to start and something to tell it to stop. It has a trigger and it has a cycle. When we're talking about expiratory sensitivity, we are talking about the cycle mechanism for pressure support breaths. I'm gonna say that again. When we talk about expiratory sensitivity, we're talking about the, about the cycle mechanism for pressure supported breaths. And that makes sense, right? Because we know that in pressure support um, or in CPAP, when we add pressure support to that setting, what we know is that we add it to help augment spontaneous tidal volumes or to help reduce the work of breathing by overcoming the resistance of the artificial airway during what? Spontaneous ventilation. You see, when we're in control modes, the ventilator knows when to stop the breath. When the volume is delivered, turn it off. When the pressure is held for whatever the set eye time is, turn it off. But when the patient is breathing spontaneously, how does the ventilator know that the patient's about to exhale? Fair question, right? So what we know is that it's this, it's the expiratory sensitivity setting.